1991, when Mick arrived here at the San Diego Natural History Museum, we had been through a really rough 13-year period with nine directors and saw a doubtful future. And Mick walked into this scene and saw the potential of the organization, the staff, the board, and thought that he could help us come back from the brink. The building uh, that housed the Natural History Museum was the same building that built in 1933 and had the same limited amenities. There was no heat, no air conditioning. We were laying off staff. We were mothballing collections. Um, we were, I think, on the brink of having to close the building to to the public. It was a kind of a desperate time and Mick came in and kind of rode in with a white hat, so to speak, and um, transformed the institution. When Mick came into the museum, um, it was really a breath of fresh air. We began to see ourselves as wanting to focus on this bioregion. I can't imagine it having happened without Mick. He just has such vitality and interest that it's inspirational. When I met with Mick, uh, it became pretty clear that while the programs were interesting, that the museum really didn't have a focus and had become kind of disconnected with the community. And Mick's idea was that we need to figure out how to reconnect to the community to get people interested in the things that it can contribute to the community and the things the community can get from it. But just that shift in strategy to be focused on the region of Southern California and Baja California has been transformative because it's inspired staff, it's inspired donors to help us build a new building, to put all sorts of great exhibits in here for the general public. By focusing our research on that area and our programs on that area, then it just created this nice kind of Venn diagram of programs and science for us to focus on. Mick's major influence on the way in which research and programs interacted with one another is just his strong belief that both should exist. So he often tells this story of when he came here, he was interviewed by the board of directors and they said, well, we should be a research museum or an exhibits museum or an education museum and he said yes. And that's been his leadership role, is to say all of these things have equal merit within what it takes to be a highly functioning museum. What struck me when we first met him, and strikes me even today, uh, is his passion for the place, his passion for trying to make it really work and really connect with the community. And Mick is able to translate that passion into action, not only in himself, but in others. The mindset of, yes, we can do this, is found in all the people who work here, whether they're staff or volunteers. Ideas are welcome because Mick has been one to push big ideas, and so his legacy is all around us. He's left us in good financial standing and also in good standing with the ideas that the museum can follow in the future. Well, I'm a native of San Diego, and, and with the museum, I poked around most of this county, uh, from the mud flats of Mission Bay to the deserts and mountains, and it was important to me. In a sense, Mick has provided the basis for people to get to know our county. It's that kind of interaction that makes it possible for people to see the relevance of what we're doing in the museum to their daily lives. Well, I think when you have a leader that is passionate about their subject. That's catching, uh, and it, it shows in the exhibits, it shows in the staff, it shows in the whole picture, and I th been, that's been very much a part of this. All those kinds of things make it come alive. I think when Mick comes back in the future, and maybe he'll volunteer here, and he can just walk around here with a smile and see how much he left as his legacy for the citizens of San Diego and he can be very proud. I recall hearing that Mick's peers, his other directors, uh, warned Mick that uh, coming to the San Diego Natural History Museum, a problem child in their view, uh, would be the end of his career. And uh, in a way they were right, because 25 years later, he's ending his career, but after a very successful run. Thank you, Mick, for 25 great years. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick, for all you've done. Thank you, Mick, for a great 25 years. Thank you, Mick, so much. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. 
Thank you, Mick, for everything you've done. Thank you, Mick, for being such a great partner to help make our dreams come true in the park. From one fossil to another, thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. It's been an honor to work with you. Thank you, Mick. Hi, Mick. Thank you so much for everything you've done for the San Diego Natural History Museum, for beautiful Balboa Park, and for our wonderful city. Thank you. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. Muchas, muchas gracias, Mick. God bless you, Evelyn. 25 years of your visionary leadership has brought this museum to where it is today. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick, for all of your hard work over the last 25 years at the Natural History Museum. You really took this institution to new heights. You helped the Nat become not only one of the top rated attractions in Balboa Park, but also a true San Diego icon. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. Thank you! Mick, thank you. Thank you, Mick, for making the Nat larger than life. You're the greatest. Congratulations on 25 fabulous years. Hi, Mick. Congratulations on your retirement, and thank you for your many, many years of service to the Natural History Museum. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. Wahoo! Thank you for all you've done for the museum and for San Diego County. What a journey. Your contagious enthusiasm has led us to the extraordinary museum we have today. Mary and Dallas would be proud. I think we all have a lot of thanks to give to Mick Hager for a very successful career. Thank you, Mick. Con todo mi corazón, gracias, Mick. Thank you, Mick. What would Mary think? A job well done. Congratulations. Our whole family thanks you, Mick, for 25 years. Thank you, Mick, for 25 years.